Hi, my name is Ed and welcome back to House of Judah Rose Homestead. Today, I'll quickly show you around my house and our property. A lot of it has happened this week. What you see down here is 35 broiler chickens enjoying pasture. Obviously they have supplement food and their water. Uh, this is their first day down here. Uh, they're enjoying life as you can see. Throwing some shapes down here. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're not the prettiest at the moment because they think they're going from a stage from a uh, little fluffy hair to feathers. I'm pretty sure these guys have never seen pasture, so it's all new environment for them. Some of them are absolutely loving it and enjoying the actual freedom and going around foraging for little bugs already. They're already digging up the soil. <laughs> Isn't it nice to see? Hey buddy. Also, these are just standard water and uh, supplement feeders. You just kind of fill it up and it has some lines at the side as well. They can monitor how much they're eating as well as how much they're drinking. So that fills up all the way to the top. And then as it goes down, you can fill it up. Obviously, fill it up before it goes down all, all the way. We always have to have some water. So yeah. We'll put them back in there at night, so they're nice and safe and warm. Fluffy and Lily discovered the chickens. <laughs> the geese got moved to their new 50 meters worth of perimeter. They got the new bath as well as a new house because the chickens got their original one. The house is not finished yet but it's waterproof and it's got mesh all around so it's safe from predators and inside the floors they got them as a uh, mesh however I don't really like it too much and also it doesn't really do what I wanted it to do to allow all the manure through but it doesn't uh, it's just gonna get built up and uh, be no good so I think I might change it I'll see how it goes and make sure that their feet are not hurt by it uh, I might leave it, see how it works. If, if they're okay with it, then I'll leave it. It'll probably make it easier to wash it later, just to clean it all up eventually. Let's see how geese are enjoying their new bath. Right now, we're in the farmer. <laughs> Somebody's enjoying their new bath. <laughs> we also started building our kennels and that's what it looks like so far so we had the ground leveled and we also put down old uh, power line posts to support the pad of the kennel so that's what it looks like all connected up with the roof on it the next thing we'll do, we'll cover two sides of it to prevent any wind or draft, so it's a bit more cosy for them. However, the houses itself, they are pretty insulated and they're, well, they're heavily insulated and they have plenty of space inside, so it's all insulated walls, bottom and the actual roof. Roof is movable, it kind of slides down and puts itself in place. So that's what we use for our dogs at the moment. It is temporary. The future holds that massive building for them. But now this is more than enough.
and this is how it looks finished so it's pretty straightforward it only took us about 40 odd minutes to do uh, put the sides up screw them together put the anchors at the bottom and then put the roofing material on and that's pretty much it just had to make sure that obviously the pad and the kennel is inside set up and we're good to go so now we have two units finished Hello. we have one more to do and that's it as i said already started working on the floors inside the house and that's what it looks like so this is the membrane that goes underneath uh, the first layer of the concrete that prevents any moisture rising up and this is where i cut up all of my uh, insulation we have two types of insulation with well two thicknesses of the actual insulation one 10 mil and five mil so this is what it looks like when it's down so as you see this is the membrane and i already have two layers of the insulation 10 millimeters and then five and this is the last layer of five millimeters so what that's going to do that's going to give me lots of insulation from underneath when the heated floors will go in and we're not going to be losing any heat to the actual ground another thing when putting this down it's very important the vision is not very good but it's very important to overlay these connection points between one meter by one meter sheets uh, this will add to the efficiency of the installation so as you can see i put another sheet down here and that is where the two well where the four pieces join and uh, that will give me best bang for my book know that the ride or die i keep boys by my seat know that the ride or die i keep boys by my seat we are you not the night Yeah. <laughs> 